time is the most important thing that influences all your actions, all your thoughts, and we are unaware of it because it's something in our head that we grew up with as children, in different cultures. It's, it's the sense that we have, the psychological sense of time, past, present, and future. Um, and we've, I, I've been doing research for 20, 30 years, and what I discovered is that there are people who live primarily in the past. Others live in the present and others in the future. And then within each of those three domains, we can divide them into two parts. So some people, when I ask, when I ask them, tell me about your childhood, tell me about when you were young, some of them only remember the good old times, success, happiness, birthday parties, good friends, and so we call them past positive. For others, it's the opposite. They remember all the negative, failure, rejection, being bullied, uh, unhappiness, and we call those people past negative. And the problem is, even though things happen in their childhood, good or bad, they, they relive it when they are adults, so it affects the, their thinking. Other people live in the moment. And, um, and for some of them, it's a hedonistic. They enjoy good food, good wine, good friends, good dancing. So they love the moment. Uh, I, th I think more Sicilians than Americans love the moment. Um, but there are other people who are always worried in the present. You know, uh, will I be good enough? Will I succeed? Um, and so, so again, it's a past, present positive, present negative. In order to succeed in life, what's most important in time perspective is the future. The future is where you set goals, where you set objectives, where you said, here's where I am and there is where I want to be. One of the things about being educated, going to school, school gives children a sense of the future because in school you do homework and you turn uh, now and you turn it into bar you study all all year and you have an exam at the end and then you graduate and then you start again the next the next uh, level um, and so the more educated you are the more we have found you become positive future oriented you think oh, here are the goals here are the objectives. Here's where I am and there's where I want to be. And that is a recipe for success. Now, sadly, there are people who are future negative. They worry. Will I be able to make it? Will I succeed? Uh, will, I, I, uh, make, will, will I be able to do a good job uh, to, to get promoted? So, as I said, so we have three dimensions, past, present, past, present future positive, negative in each. Mm. Now, what I have discovered with much research is that the ideal for everybody in the universe is to have what I call a balanced time perspective, BTP. So balanced time perspective means what? It should be obvious. You want to be high on past positive, low past negative. Uh, high on pres medium on present hedonism, not too much, then you overdo it. Uh, and then you want to be high on future orientation, positive, ne low on future orientation, negative. And in much research, people who have this balanced time perspective, uh, have a richer life, they're happier, uh, they are good, better workers. Um, uh, they are more moral, um, and, and the quality of their life is much better. So as I said, uh, th now, the I developed a scale, Zimbardo Time Perspective Inventory, Z-T-P-I. Uh, here's the Z for that. Uh, uh, and, and, with it, so, and the scale is available uh, in my book, 
this, anyone who gets my book, can, can, the time paradox, uh, can take the test. And it gives you immediate scores. I mean, you go online and it gives you immediate scores. So you see, uh, how do I go to become, have a balanced time perspective? So I understand my book will be published in Italy. That makes me very proud because I, my family is Italian, Sicilian, grandfather, grandmother's side for many, many generations.